Oh, that's right, baby. It's time for J Rocks. For old. Old J Rock got a chance to see this movie, and we got to answer the question which one was better? Was it the movie or the trailer? Did the movie live up to the hype, or did the trailer exceed everybody's expectations? Come on back! Let's do the damn thing. Highly, J Rock has come back! To you too. to you too. What is happening in here in here with the millions? <laughs> oh, and the millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here. The YouTube people champ is here. And we got to answer the question now. Which one was better for the movie old? Did the trailer hype the movie up and the movie was not able to live up to expectations or did the movie exceed the expectations set by the trailer? It's time to answer that question. If you got a reaction request, something you want J-Rock to check out, uh, just drop it down in the comment section. And if I choose your request, I give you a shout out on the Great Ones channel, all right? Now, let's go through the trailer. Um, if this is your first time on J-Rock's movie versus trailer review, you might be asking the question, why are we doing this? What is the point of all of this? What, what is the point of a movie? Can't you just go through the movie and just tell them what you like, what you didn't like? Well, J-Rock says this. There are a million other channels all over YouTube that will do exactly that. You can go to their channels. They can break down the movie from beginning to end, from bell to bell, and tell you exactly what the movie was about. But that ain't what J-Rock is all about. Seeing the fact that J-Rock is unique, J-Rock is the most electrifying YouTuber and all of YouTube tang meant, he's going to give you something a little different. The brainchild of the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube today, man, Jay Rock, the YouTube people's champ, is going to give you just a little bit different. He is going to answer the question, was the movie better or the trailer better? Too many times, Jay Rock has watched the trailer for a movie and got amped up, hyped, and was anxious to see it, only to watch the movie and to be let all the way down. In those instances, the trailer was better than the movie. Because the movie did not live up to expectations. And one of the main reasons is because a lot of the editing and the footage that they put in the trailer does not actually make it to the movie. Or they edit the, the trailer in such a way they have you thinking one thing is happening when in fact it's two totally different scenes. And if you want to check out some of J-Rock Others movie versus trailer reviews, make sure you go back on the Great Ones channel and check those out. But let's check out this one for old, shall we? Now, J-Rock says this. This uh, review will contain spoilers, so if you have not seen the movie yet and you don't want it spoiled for you, j -Rock says click away, go watch it, and come back, and then answer the question which one you thought was better, the movie or the trailer, okay? Movie starts out kind of slow, okay? But basically, M. Night Shyamalan is setting everything up, okay? Now, one of the things I found out about M. Night Shyamalan is that he paid for his own movie. I paid for the visit, split, glass, and, and old. All, all four of those, and I paid for servant as well. Like, he didn't go through studios in order to be able to, you know, get his movie out. He paid for everything, right? And in doing so, it allowed him to be able to express his full creativity without needing the approval of the studios before it actually got released, right? Because oftentimes these, you know, uh, Zack Snyder, for example, even though his situation was a little bit different because he had a family matter he had to attend to, but it's one of those instances where, you know, you have your vision of what you think the movie should be, and you submit the cut to the studios. They edit out all, all the parts. You're like, this is not what I wanted. This is not the vision that I wanted to express. And so Zack Snyder being able to express his full vision for the Justice League was big time. But what's even more big time? is the fact that M. Night Shyamalan pays for his own movie, which allows him to express his own creative uh, process to its fullest extent. Um, that will come in handy later on in this movie when we get to a certain scene where J-Rock was like, damn, that's jacked up right there, boy. But anyway, let's get started with this trailer. Yeah, so basically, this is the family. Um, you know, I think that her name is Prisca, I think. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what her name is. It doesn't matter what her name was. I don't remember what his name is, the, the kid's name. 
Only read only one I remember name is a little boy named is Maddox because I thought that was a very unique name. Uh, but they're going to this resort, you know, trying to check out and everything, and so this is right at the beginning where, you know, they're looking at everything, and apparently this is going to be their last vacation together before her and her husband separate. All right, she's ill with some sort of tumor, uh, benign tumor. Uh, keep that in mind, and. Um, I guess I think she cheated on him or something and so they're about to separate this is their last adventure together all right so brother and sister Maddox they never leave each other keep that in mind as we keep going as well this is them as they're young um, now here's the thing remember this this editing this is a part of the editing that I don't really think is that big of a deal but this particular scene is when they're getting ready to you know go to the island but this part right here is at the right at the very beginning. Two totally different scenes, right? Two totally different scenes. All right. He's asking, "Are we there yet?" Meaning, have we gotten to the hotel, right? Um, two totally different scenes in the movie. It's technically, it's been more than five minutes. Let's just all start slowing. All right. So, this is them arriving to the secluded beach area after they've gone to the hotel, checked in, got the rooms, all that good stuff. And they got these cocktails at the beginning of the movie, right? These drinks that apparently they use to, um, based on the information they put in on the website, and they built these concoctions um, for the cocktails for the adults. And then they got some other stuff for the kids. And that matters once you see exactly what happened. So they're at the beach. They're not there alone, of course. This is the area right here. Now, from what I read, uh, learn about the movie M. Night Shyamalan, the whole rock wall that's right there, um, because I think they shot this in the Dominican Republic, if I'm not mistaken. But the whole rock wall thing that they did there had to be built multiple times because they built it during hurricane season, during storm season. So, yeah, it wouldn't stay up very long. So they had to rebuild it multiple times. They're not there. Now, remember her, all right? All right. Um, damn it. I think her name. Damn it, I can't remember her name. It doesn't matter what her name was. But that's, this is the chick. I remember she had like some sort of calcium problem with her bones. So she has very brittle bones, right? Now all this stuff they find it. All this stuff they find it belonged to other people who were there first. As you can see, cell phones, everything. Uh, so this ain't these ain't the first folks that are showing up there, right? Playing hide and seek, and that's when this happens. It's about to go down. Yeah. Yeah, so that young lady, she was there with this. This rapper's name in this movie, Midsize Sedan. That's his name. Midsize Sedan. So apparently, you know, he was talking to this young lady. She goes out for a swim and ends up dead. And, you know. M. Night Sedan is getting blamed for it by one of the racists in the movie. Apparently, this movie is based on a book uh, I haven't read. Where the kids? All right? Hey, have you seen my children? Yeah, so here they go. This is when it's about to kick off, right here. It's about to go back. They've aged. They have aged a lot. Dad, why are you looking at me like that? Yep, right there. They've aged. Yep. Yeah, so what's happening is obviously the kids are aging faster, faster, faster. All right? The adults, you, you don't really see the visual aging of them uh, only because they're already, you know, adults. 
you see the aging of the kids because they're still growing. The adults, not, not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this part right here, J-Rock says this. This part was jacked up. Like all the way jacked up. And M. Night Shyamalan explains why he didn't go through the studios. Chess would never have been made in the studios. It's just that would have been the first note. You cannot do that. Really? Yeah, you, you cannot do what you just did. It's too outrageous. You just can't. You can't do this to audience. It. Because this part right here is keep in mind they're on the beach okay and everything is aging fast apparently she and maddox they're not related you know they just met their kids and they have sex right not really knowing what they're doing or understanding the consequences of that but she ends up pregnant and because everything happened so fast it goes from you know inception all the way to nine months just like that in a matter of hours right so she goes from getting pregnant to having birth in the same day what makes this scene jacked up j-rock says she has the baby right she's scared to death but she has the baby thankfully one of the the guests there is a nurse so she helps them deliver the baby right the baby is born and within a matter of minutes minutes the baby is dead Baby is dead. I've done things in movies that you just can't do, right? You just can't do. I kill everybody, right? This is like, uh, you, you could be a star, you could be a baby, you could be whatever. You're, you're not safe in these movies. Because apparently the baby can't handle, you know, what's happening at the beach, the rapid, you know, the rapid aging of the beach. You know, the body, you know, just couldn't handle it. It was too, it was too small. Which, again, that's why M. Night Shyamalan didn't want to go through the uh, studios because he said, oh, they're going to cut that out. They're like, oh, hell no. no you're not putting, you're not finna kill no baby in no movie. And it's jacked up, but it grabs you on an emotional level. You know, especially for those of us who have children. It grabs you on an emotional level. Right? And, I, and if I remember, there's a scene where the young lady is holding the baby and it's just bone and ashes. Like, that's how fast things are going. So... All right, that's the nurse right here, the guy holding her feet. All right. We have to get off feet. So they're trying to get out. Nobody can escape. They go back through that way. They pass out and back up on the beach. They swim out to the. Sh they swim out in the water, pass out, faint, die, end up back on the beach, decomposing in a matter of hours. Right there. See, he passes out. She makes she it to the ledge. She might have a chance. Why is she stopping? Why is she stopping? Can I wake up? Yeah, so she passes out, and uh, yeah, that's it for her. Uh, both teams played hard. God bless and good night. Yeah, so apparently this, you no, know, I guess a cryptogram is what they call it. Um, he got that from a little boy he was playing with when he was a kid. Maddox did. And it gives them a clue to, you know, how to get out. Right here. So, this coral reef, the, the cryptogram uh, decoded says, my uncle doesn't like the coral. All right? His uncle, the little boy, uncle who Maddox was playing with, runs the whole resort. Right? He's in charge of everything. And so, he sent him a cryptogram saying, my uncle doesn't like the coral. Well, apparently the coral, you know, has this protective barrier that keeps them away from the, I guess you can call it the powers of the beach. And so, yeah, they end up swimming through it, Maddox and his sister, and they get out. Everybody else is dead. They either die of old age, die in the water, whatever. Never leave each other. Nothing yeah. separates us. We're connected to something bigger. All right, so this part right here. So this is why I like one another reason why I like to do these movies versus trailer reviews is because right here when I saw the trailer I'm thinking that you know he is literally he has some disease and the disease is you know killing him or whatever the case may be wasn't quite 100 sure what was happening but I thought it had something to do with the beach when in fact it has something to do with the beach but the reason he's basically decaying or you know 
seeing like he's just dissolving before our eyes is because he goes psycho, this guy does. All right, he has some sort of, I don't know if it's dementia or some sort of uh, cognitive impairment where he's losing his memory. And so he starts to freak out thinking that people are going to like attack him, rob him, come to his house, whatever. And he starts freaking out and he's cutting people with this knife. But because they're on this bi a beach, the, the cuts are healing just like that. Like he cut him, you know, it's like Wolverine, right? He gets cut, it healed. He cuts, it healed, right? And what happens is that the the woman, the wife, um, she finds an old rusty knife, right? And she cuts him with the rusty knife. But because, you know, he closes up like Wolverine. But the rusty knife has some sort of bacteria on it, I think. Um, the wound closes, but the bacteria is in there too. And it's moving so fast, they don't have time to treat it. So he's literally like dissolving because of the bacteria, like, I don't know, tetanus probably. It's, it's killing him that fast. All right, so this young lady right here. Um, all right, so she has epilepsy, okay? And apparently she's having another seizure. Now keep in mind when we get to the ending as to why that part matters. Okay. Oh no. Oh, we're here for a reason. Yeah. Now this part is kind of creepy. This part is kind of creepy. You remember the young lady I told you uh, who had a, a calcium deficiency, the, the skinny girl in the bikini in the beginning? Well, this scene, they're trying to find a way out. All right. They're being chased by her. Right. But because, you know, she's aging so fast and rapidly, she, her, you know, her bones are starting, are becoming even more brittle. So there's this part, this scene right here where she's trying to crawl towards him and her bones are breaking while she's crawling. So her bones are twisting and contorting, you know, like some freaking, in a freaking exorcist type movies, you know, it's, you know, snapping and, you know, all that other crap was creepy as hell right and they're freaking out because all the little light they have right there you know all they see is the little light they have and this thing crawling towards them turns out it's the girl she's aging her bones are breaking she's trying to crawl towards them i mean it's just it's creepy as hell that part right there okay creepy as hell so j-rock says this which one was better was it the movie or the trailer? Well, here's the thing. Uh, the movie, or at least at least I didn't I didn't see it, didn't explain what was happening with this beach. Like what was this beach all about? Right? The location of the beach is never provided. It never tells us where they are, right? So we don't know if they're in Hawaii or they're in some, you know, Cuba, overseas somewhere. We don't know. Because it never tells you where they are. All right, and so they end up, um, Maddox and his sister end up making it out. Come to find out, there's this pharmaceutical company called Warren and Warren, okay? All right, and they are using the beach as a way to test out their, you know, medication or drugs ability to you know heal certain diseases right because everybody on the beach i think with the exception of the children have some sort of medical condition right and so they these cocktails they were giving contain the drugs that was supposed to you know treat their disease but most trials of certain medicines take years and so they're using this beach to test their medicines Instead of it taking years, it's only taking a day. So they can know whether or not the medicine works just like that. And that matters just because the young lady who was, has epilepsy, the, the black lady who was having a seizure, at the beginning of the movie, she has a seizure, she has epilepsy, right? But after she drinks the cocktail, she literally goes hours, which in you know the time frame of the beach, which is years, right, without, and without a uh, a seizure, 
So they deem that a success. Like, damn, she went that long without a seizure? You know, hours on the beach is like, you know, years or whatever. And so they say it's a success. Well, they have a problem. Maddox, the young, the young man, finds some journal, right? And at the beginning of the movie, he talks to this guy who is a cop. And so once they make it out, he gets the journal, he takes it to the cop. The journal contains like names and the addresses of everybody that has been there. And so the cop finds the, get, takes the journal, you know, and they end up shutting the place down, right? And I, I just wanted to know what was up with the beach, right? The pharmaceutical company using the beach to their advantage to test drugs. Like I understand why they would do it. I don't condone that. Right, you know, put people out there to kill them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I get why they did it. But I'm just trying to figure out what was up with the beach, right? Like, what was it about this beach? Was it at a certain place on Earth where there was too much, you know, I don't know, stuff in the area where it causes people to decay and die? Right? Like, what is up with this beach? Right, the I, if the movie explains it, y'all help me out in the comment section and tell me. Yeah, the movie tells you about the beach and why it's there and all that because I never could understand it. But do I think the movie was better than the trailer, uh, or the trailer was better than the movie? I'm gonna say this: there was a damn good trailer because it got me interested. Uh, the execution of the movie though uh, was damn good. So it's time to answer the question: which one was better? Drum roll. J Rock is gonna have to say that in this case for the movie old the movie lived up to the hype so i'm going to say the movie was better than the trailer but as you can tell by my reservation that's just how good the trailer was right the only reason that i'm not anxiously saying oh hell yeah the movie was better than the trailer because i i want to know what's up with this beach man i want that question answered what is up with this beach? Why are people aging so fast in this movie at this beach? That's what I wanted to know. All right? So, if you know what was up with the beach, let me know in the comment section. Now it's your turn. Answer the question. If you saw the movie, what do you think was better? Was it the movie or the trailer? Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of his movie versus trailer review to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed J-Rock's Movie vs. Trailer Review, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. All right? And be sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell what J-Rock is cooking.